Are you hungry? I am hungry, but I'm not sure what to eat today. Hmm, I have so much to choose. Or have I? Seems I'm missing a few options here. Indeed I do. There are 49 foods in the game. I have only unlocked a few of them, but we should be fine anyway. So let's jump up on the table and take a look. The first one is Turkey a la Thank. 2% total damage per level. Do I smell gratitude? Oh, no, that's colonialization. Egg. 5% meal cooking speed. It's just an egg. Salad. 3% cash from monsters. Yeah, um, could I get a burger but hold the meat and buns? Hi. 5% recipe cooking speed. Cartoon. Characters with a fear of levitation hate the smell of this. Frank Fries, 5% new pet breeding odds. You're breeding pets in outer space. Don't be shocked that there is no France. Spaghetti, 4% breeding XP. Your mom made this. It's her spaghetti. Corn, 2% skill efficiency. You think the government is subsidizing this? Its bonus is terrible. Garlic bread, 4% VIP library membership. The letter H ain't looking so good after eating a few of these. Garlic less bread, 2% lab XP. Many revolutions in the world originate from an increase in the price of bread. Pizza, 9% new pet breeding odds. Mamma mia, ma pizza. Wait, I already did a joke. Replace this one. I guess I did something similar at spaghetti. Apple, 5 base defense. Ah, oh, geez, Richard. I sure am hungry for apples. Pancakes, 2 pixel line width in the lab mainframe. Oh, they're called pancakes because they are like cakes made in a pan. Haha. <laughs> corn dog, 12% meal cooking speed. Oh, they're called corn dogs because, wait, why are they called corn dogs? That's a good question. Cabbage, 5% all cooking speed per 10 upgrade levels. This is a monumentally important vegetable as well as upgrade. Yes, this is the first game changer upgrade you get. Potato pea pastry, 1% lower egg incubator time. Yeah, it's that triple P threat. Look out for them peas, bro. Dango, 2% lower kitchen upgrade cost. Look, I'm not sure what these are either. Just go with it. Sourish fish, 4% VIP library membership. Shh, stop saying they're sweet. You're gonna get me in trouble. Octoplop, 2% total damage. They really did just plop an octopus on a plate and call it a day. Croissant, 1% pet fighting damage. Carl loves these. Canopy, 10% new recipe cooking speed. Oh, you said can of peas, you know? That does make a lot more sense. Cannoli, 1% points earned in tower defense. Ain't got no joke for this one. Its existence is enough of a joke. Cheese, 5% cooking XP. Sourced organically, straight from the moon. Sawdust, 5% lab XP. I'd rather starve than eat that. Angie 2021. Eggplant, 5% pet breedability speed in fence yard. I don't know what you zoomers are up to with those eggplants emojis, but I don't like it. Cheesy bread, 1% total accuracy. Another bread meal, wow, so unoriginal. I'm glad I already left a one star rating. Wild boar, 2 pixel line width in lab mainframe. It's not really wild anymore, is it? It looks kinda dead and roasted. Donut. 15% new pet breeding odds. Mmm, donut. Rice ball, 3% skill efficiency. Dude, it's just a ball of rice. Like, what do you want me to say about it? Cauliflower, 1% basic attack speed. The white part is called curd. Well, time to recategorize this as an educational game. Durian fruit, 6% lower kitchen upgrade costs. This must have been in the room when curd said it smell like teen spirit. Orange, 3% VIP library membership. The true arch nemesis of rappers and poets alike. Bunt cake, 7% cash from monsters. Bunt cake, more like punt cake, because I'm kicking this trash straight to the garbage. Chocolate truffle, 25% new pet breeding odds. I mean, it's got a bite taken out of it. Pretty gross. Leek, 2% skilling prowess. Leek. More importantly, prowess lowers the efficiency needed when AFK bar is orange. Fortune cookie, 4% faster library checkout speed. It reads, salvation lies not within enjoying video games, but from getting good at them. Pretzel, 7% lab XP. I love pretzels. People really be sleeping on the versatility they bring to the table. Sea urchin, 
1% critters from traps. At least one person reading this has eaten one of these. Oh, it's you. Good for you. Mashed potato, 6% cooking XP. This nutritious meal reminds me of Mashed Potato Monster from Eidolon, the video game. Mutton, 1% crit chance. Yep, I tell you what, Bobby, this is a real man's meal right here. Wedding cake, 2% pet fighting damage. Imagine getting married, lol, so cringe, haha, am I right? High five, fellow kids. Eel, 1% line width in the lab mainframe. The younger sibling of the Loch Ness monster, he's real, but no one really cares. Whipped cocoa, 4% skill efficiency. Why is this being served on a plate? Was the cup not good enough for you? Onion, 3% total damage. No, I'm not crying. This onion is just stimulating the lacrimal glands in my eyes. Soda, 20% meal cooking speed. Yeah, those red marks are grill marks. Our chef doesn't know what he's doing. Sushi roll, 7% VIP library membership. For something called a sushi roll, it isn't moving around very much. Pancha banana. Four max levels for TPP star talent. Straight from the island of Karjama. Or something like that. Starts with a K at least. Pumpkin. Two XP from World 1 mobs. According to the author of the Iliad, its value should peak right around January. Cotton candy. 2% XP from World 1 mobs. The most exquisite of fairground cuisine. Massive fig. 3% total damage. This thing got away at least 30. And that's all of the food. We are missing quite a few, but eventually I will have them all. So how do you make the food, you ask? Well, here in the kitchen, you go here, pick whatever you want to cook. Let's make some turkeys. And they are made pretty fast. But how do you lock something? Well, you pick a spice. That's how you get a turkey. That's how you get the egg in the pie. Salad and spaghetti, whatever that is. Those two, the cabbage. Corn and dango, and these two, but then you can also mix the spices. And you can see this is how you get that mysterious one and that mysterious one. Of course, there's only a chance you will unlock the new recipes. I tried to unlock the cheese here, but instead I got apples five times in a row. And the food is mainly used to give you a lot of passive bonuses. The menu items are account wide, but then you can also use the food in here to buy ships. For example, the chocolate ship need 100 cheese. And the ground banana ship need 100 turkeys. And the purple navet need 2000 pies. Then of course you need to get the spice. How do you get the spice? You get the spice here by clicking this claim all button. Or one by one. It's the same thing really. Every time you beat a boss you get a new spice here. And you just do it like this. Begin fighting. Start attacking. This is how the pet fight works. Just keep spamming everything. Oh, he died. And these guys are healing him. So yeah. We can't out DPS this guy. I will just leave it. If you upgrade your cooking level by standing AFK here in the kitchen and then swapping to someone else. Okay, it's been three minutes. Let's log back in, see if we got any cooking XP. Hey, we did. We got one cooking XP and zero cooking ladles. Of course, that was only three minutes, so we did not expect more. But cooking ladles give you one hour for each ladle in this stack. Do note the entire stack will be used up when you do. So don't take out like 50 ladles if you only want to use three because you're going to use 50. We have 6,900. How many can we make in three hours? Here we go. 8,000. Ooh, that was not a lot. You know what? Let's go down to the cabbage instead. Cabbage is one of the most important vegetables. And let's see if we can get some more of those. We have 545. Let's take out four hours. Use them. Wow, we only got 200. Yikes, that was not a lot. But it's fine, they are chugging along. They need 1.4 each, so they take quite some time to cook. The corn only need 125, and the Turk Ala tank only need 10. This one you will fly through. You may notice I have a lot of diamond plates. Why do I have that? Why did I stop at level 11? Well, if we go here to the alchemy, you see the bubble 14 here, the diamond chef. Faster meal and fire kitchen speeds for every meal at level 11 plus. This is when the meal plate becomes diamond blue. Yes, so you know. This is one of the best upgrades for cooking. Right now I have 12% faster meal and fire kitchen speeds. However, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6 times 12. And as everyone knows, that's 72. Now, how do you make your kitchens work faster? Well, you can upgrade them. This uses the spice as well. Here we go, level 100. Let's see if we can upgrade the other ones. Oh, this one is 
Here we go. Ooh, I think that used up the spice I needed for the Diamond Chef bubble. Yeah, don't use that on crappy speed upgrade. Save it all for the bubble. And I don't have these unlocked, so I can't upgrade them. And then the next kitchen costs five void. I have two void right now. This thing is hovering in the air. And then it's a bunch of luster, even more luster, starfire coins, and red coins. There are a few items you can wear when you're standing in here. Here is one of them, the chef ring, 400 cooking efficiency and 15% cooking efficiency. So if you wear both of these at the same time, it's quite helpful. 3000 cooking efficiency, 754. Then I think someone is wearing the boots and this guy is wearing the cooking clogs, mainly because it has 40 defense and it was better than his Amarok shoes. It gives 300 cooking efficiency. So even if you're not actually cooking anything, these are just pretty damn good shoes to have. They have five upgrade slots. I have not upgraded them yet. These guys have Amarok shoes and they only give 23 defense. You can get these cooking ladles from a few sources. You can get them as quest rewards or you can get them from the mini boss in the world for Colosseum. The mutated mush, it always drops cooking ladles. So the more drop rate you have, the more cooking ladles you will get. Hey, hello there. It drops ladles and eggs, nine cooking ladles. This is with my pretty low drop rate. So you will get tons of ladles this way. You also have cooking XP gain. I guess I can mention that the troll card is also a kitchen booster. It's a passive card that gives you kitchen speed. The troll boss itself is not out yet. You have to get these from card packs. I would not recommend that you buy card pack as it is gambling and you may not get anything good. In world four, you can get the Richelin kitchen. Upgrades one kitchen in order from first to last to a Richelin kitchen. These have three times meal cooking speed, two times new recipe speed, and 40% cheaper upgrade costs. And they get a bit of a gray look compared to the normal kitchen. All my kitchens are Richelin kitchens right now. So I can't really show you the normal one, but I guess you will see that for yourself when you look at your own kitchen. And I think that's it for the cooking. I have a feeling I've forgotten something, but I cannot remember what. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.